So we've been in business for 23 years, 22 years, because my son's 21, that's how I remember that. We started out doing handwork at our dining room table just to get started with things, and then we uh, eventually got some space over on Niagara Street. We're a trade book bindery for the printing industry in Western New York, and now with our hardcover division, we do work all over the United States. Teresa Woody is a lovely person who's been here for 13 years now. And I think she's 30, 31 or 32. So she's been here since she was a kid. It wasn't very altruistic of me. The deal was that there was a tax break. And at the time we had just started, because Stephen's been here for almost 18 years. And we had just started and a tax break was nice incentive for us to try to do a new thing. They paid his salary for six months and then after that we picked it up and we decided to keep him and we've kept him ever since. She's never really missed a day. If she had to call in sick, she follows the rules to a T. She's one of the happiest people I've ever met in my entire life. I don't think she ever has a bad day. She just comes in full of life. It probably makes the atmosphere around here better because she creates a positive energy where, you know, people come in and they had a bad night or whatever, and she just brings that glow and just lightens it all up. We don't even think that there's an inability to him or Teresa. We know what it is within their limitations and they just do it. The people that work here are great people. There's just never been any issue with it. And I think they're all very kind in their own ways and they, they're just part of the team. I think the coolest thing is that she, the way everybody treats her, she's just a part I can't. like anything else, isn't it? Once you get to know a person, you know the person. It just becomes a whole different thing for you. So I think knowing and being around developmentally disabled people helps you to appreciate what their value is and to work with them more easily. I think it gives everybody an appreciation for what other people are like in this world. We never think about discrimination because it's just, if the person's able to do the job, we hire them. It's not because they have a particular background or color or anything like that. It's, we just hire the person because they do the job right. It, it's that pride they take in going to work every day. It's giving them something to do. And I do think that the employers have to have an appreciation for maybe some special needs, but once they get used to what they're doing, it's, it's a piece of cake. It's just not any effort whatsoever. If you try it and you have the right person to help that person along, it's a very, very easy transition. I, I just couldn't imagine them not being here. It's family. They are just part of who we are, and I couldn't have it any other way.